हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज लिंगुअल आर्टरी टिल नो वेव डेल्ट विद एक्सटर्नल कैरेटिड आर्टरी द ब्रांचेस ऑफ एक्सटर्नल कैरेटिड आर्टरी इन ब्रांचेस वीव लर्न अबाउट द फेशियल आर्टरी द मैक्सिलरी आर्टरी एंड नाउ इट्स द लिंगुअल आर्टरी ओके लिंगुअल आर्टरी इज एन ईजी टॉपिक सो लेट्स बिगिन lingual artery is given off from the anterior surface of the external carotid artery first point and it is given off opposite to the tip of the greater cornu of the hyoid bone and third point it is tortuous in course so this is the first introduction what you'll write on your answer sheet or what you'll fix in your mind okay it is a branch of external carotid artery and it is given off opposite to the tip of the greater cornu of the hyoid bone and it is tortuous in course now in the next slide in the diagram it will be clear for you all see this is the hyoid bone what you are seeing and this is the lingual artery which is tortuous in course okay if you want me to zoom see this is the hyoid bone and the lingual artery now moving on to the course and the relations of the lingual artery lingual artery is a tortuous course that you are clear now it is divided into three parts by a muscle which is that muscle it is the hyoglossus muscle important point it is divided by the hyoglossus muscle into three parts now if i zoom this diagram it the hyoglossus muscle is cut so that the course of the lingual artery can be shown to you clearly now i'll mark the hyoglossus muscle this is the hyoglossus muscle that is cut and this is the this is the external carotid artery and this is the lingual artery okay the whole thing which i drew now is a lingual artery so now this hyoglossus muscle is dividing the lingual artery into three parts the first part the second part and the third part okay now we'll be dealing with the e with each part in detail the first part the first part lies in the carotid triangle the first point first part lies in the carotid triangle and it forms a characteristic upward loop this loop why does it form a loop it forms a loop so that there is free movement of the hyoid bone as learned earlier the uh, uh, lingual artery is given off opposite to the tip of the greater cornu of the hyoid bone so if it will form a loop then there will be free movements of the hyoid bone and then it is crossed by the hypoglossal nerve and the lingual loop permits the free movements of the hyoid bone as i told you earlier and it rests on the middle constrictor muscle so the first part has four relations if you can remember in brief see first thing is it lies at the in the carotid triangle okay second it is crossed by the hypoglossal nerve third it lies on the middle constrictor muscle and then uh, there is a loop the loop is for the movement of the hyoid bone four points okay if i zoom this tag in this diagram the first part i'll zoom and show it to you so i'll mark the middle constrictor muscle this is the middle constrictor muscle okay and this is the loop second point and it lies in the carotid triangle this part somewhere well we we'll, when we will learn about the carotid triangle it be clear for you all so first thing is it is it lies in the carotid triangle it lies on the middle constrictor muscle and it forms an upward loop and it is crossed by the hypoglossal nerve so four points are clear from the first part this is the first part okay moving on to the second part and this is the hypoglossal nerve and this is the middle constrictor muscle moving on to the second part the second part lies deep to the hyoglossus muscle it runs horizontally through the upper border of the hyoid bone and it lies between the hyoglossus muscle laterally and middle constrictor muscle and the stylohyoid ligament medially and the artery is separated by the hypoglossal nerve and vena committens by the hyoglossus muscle so in this diagram again if you can see the second part see this is cut right the hyoglossus muscle is cut so this second part lies deep to the hyoglossus muscle first point and it the hyoglossus muscle is present laterally and middle constrictor muscle and the stylohyoid ligament is present medially okay the second point and the third point is it is separated from the vena committens and the hypoglossal nerve by the hyoglossus muscle okay three points clear with this diagram 
so the first part is it lies deep to the hyoglossus muscle clear then hyoglossus muscle is present laterally to the second part and medially you have the stylohyoid ligament and the middle constrictor muscle and then you have the vena committens and the hypoglossal nerve that is separated by the hyoglossus muscle okay clear now moving on and it one more thing it runs horizontally through the upper border of the hyoid bone if you can see this is the hyoid bone this is the hyoid bone and it is running upwards through the upper border of the hyoid bone okay now moving on to the third part the third part is also called as arteria profunda linguae what is it called arteria profunda linguae okay so this third part is ascends at the anterior border of the hyoglossus muscle you have to remember this points now again when i show it in the diagram it will be clear for you it ascends at the anterior border of the hyoglossus muscle first part then it runs forwards beneath the mucous membrane of the tongue on either sides of the lingual frenum the sublingual course of the artery intervenes with the genioglossus muscle medially and inferior longitudinal muscle laterally okay and the part is accompanied by the lingual nerve so the first part was accompanied by the hypoglossal nerve now the third part is accompanied by the lingual nerve at the tip of the tongue the lingual nerve and ast the lingual artery nerve anastomoses with the opposite side of the lingual artery the lingual artery anastomoses with the opposite side of the lingual artery okay so the third part i'm zooming now okay so this is the third part the third part first it runs from the anterior border of the hyoglossus muscle first part this is the anterior border okay then it has the inferior constrictor muscle medially and you have the genioglossus muscle laterally okay this is the second point then it runs upwards into the mucous membrane of the tongue and then it um intervenes with the opposite side of the lingual artery at the lingual frenum this is from one side and another artery will be coming from the other side of the lingual frenum so at the tip of the tongue this both arteries anastomos okay clear so it ascends at the anterior border of the hyoglossus muscle then turns forward beneath the mucous membrane of the tongue and the sublingual course of the artery intervenes with the genioglossus muscle medially and inferior longitudinal muscle laterally and this part is accompanied by the lingual nerve at the tip of the tongue the lingual nerve anastomoses with the opposite side of the lingual artery now the branches of the lingual artery so the first branch of the lingual artery gives one branch that is the suprahyoid artery it runs on the upper border of the hyoid bone and anastomoses with the opposite side artery okay this is the suprahyoid artery what you are seeing this part small artery which is given off from the first part see this is the suprahyoid artery which is passing through the upper border of the hyoid bone and it anastomoses with the opposite side of the artery then the second part the second part gives dorsal lingual artery the branch of the second part is the dorsal lingual artery it arises from the second part of the lingual artery and there are 3 to 4 in number and it passes upwards and supplies three things okay the dorsal surface of the tongue the palatine tonsil and the soft palate and then the dorsal lingual artery if i can show you in the diagram see these are the dorsal lingual arteries and they are 3 to 4 in number if you can see these are the dorsal lingual arteries they are 3 to 4 in number and they run upwards and supply the tonsils the soft palate and the um, mucous membrane of the tongue now the third part is the sublingual the third part uh, of the lingual artery gives a branch called the sublingual artery and deep lingual artery so the sublingual artery runs forward between the genioglossus muscle and the mylohyoid muscle okay it is running forward between genioglossus muscle and the mylohyoid muscle and it supplies the mucous membrane of the floor of the mouth and the adjoining gum a few branches anastomoses with the submental artery by piercing the mylohyoid muscle so this is the sublingual artery which one is the sublingual artery this is the sublingual artery through the sublingual and this is the sublingual gland so this supplies the 
uh, floor of the mouth and the adjoining gums and it anastomoses to the uh, submental artery by piercing the mylohyoid muscle okay so in this diagram it will be more clear for you all about the sublingual artery see this is the sublingual artery and it passes between the genioglossus muscle and the mylohyoid muscle and it supplies the adjoining gums so if you can see it, it is passing up to the gums and it also supplies the floor of the mouth and the deep lingual artery in this uh, table it is um, given in brief and it will be easy for you all to remember so that you can compare with each branch artery and then you can learn easily so suprahyoid artery we've dealt with it and sublingual artery and deep lingual artery it runs superiorly into the tongue and gives numerous branches so what all it supplies is also given just go through this or take a screenshot of it it will be easy for you all to remember all the branches of the lingual artery so guys that's all we're done with lingual artery and applied anatomy uh, see you ligate the tongue uh, lingual artery in any of the surgeries of the tongue you ligate the lingual artery before it gives off the branches to the tongue okay that is one point in applied anatomy and guys if you have any doubt please comment down in the comment